Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to go over the programs that I use for my workflow for creation on Second Life. First, we're starting off with my favorite program, which is Adobe Substance. It makes my life so much better um, now that I don't have to bake in Blender anymore, but it has so many different things that you can do you can make your own materials you can texture and you can even mesh within the program I do the substance 3d texturing which I pay $20 a month I used to have the student and teacher but I'm not in college anymore but I highly suggest if you are a student you should use that you'll have access to everything like Adobe Illustrator um, substance painter Photoshop all of those things but with the Adobe substance painter you have access to the substance 3d asset library where you can find different materials um, these sometimes these are different materials you can change up you can load them into your program which is this Adobe substance painter and you can change like the color the pattern all of those things can be changed but they give you a base pattern to work with and then you can just play around with the contrast you can play around with the tiling of the pattern you can make it go wider you can make it go smaller it all depends on what you need for that program or that project I'm sorry um, so in this I'm gonna show you guys like how I am baking usually people on SL they bake in blender because they use Photoshop to texture but for me I use substance because I get a even bake all around when I found out like when I first learned to bake in blender it was harder because I wasn't getting like that even tone that I always am looking for and also the lighting in blender is hard to achieve versus substance because you're on the program and everything is just right there so you can change your lighting and substance which like I said it is harder in blender because you have to res the cube you have to play around with the lights and stuff and that's just like such a task so Adobe substance makes it just easier for you to do that um, I do often bake at a higher number because it just comes out better I still get like a black line but when you're texturing you can paint over that you can also smooth it out so it doesn't really affect the way your textures look but i'm gonna let you guys watch the rest of the texturing process i use some different patterns and i use different colors in order to achieve the look i'm going for so you guys can watch that Beat I want 
program I use is ZBrush. This is a part of my new workflow. I now create my base meshes on ZBrush and I'm starting to learn the program more so now that I'm learning it more I'm going to start using ZBrush more often for all of my meshes. Um, I used to pay the $178 um, plan every three months. I actually could not find that, but personally, I wouldn't pay that. Uh, if you guys can find a crack, I would. Um, that's what I did when it came to this program. Being honest, um, I have Cinema 4D. I have a couple. I have Cinema 4D as well, but I don't use that yet because I'm still learning about that. So that'll be added to workflow very soon. But I'm going to show you guys how I import and kind of use the program so what I do first when I import it I subdivide it and I subdivide it to the highest that it can go sometimes for me it can go to five or six but when it comes to me um, baking I have to keep it at maybe like a four or a five uh, so what I do is I buy brushes from ArtStation the brushes are about maybe $7.99 at the most um, but these are the brushes that I use and trust me like they're so much easier than sculpting yourself I did make a video on how I have reduced the process of having to sculpt myself I mean if I have to sculpt I will sculpt but if I don't I'm not going to because I just feel like you can work smarter not harder and ArtStation is a great affordable marketplace when it comes down to buying brushes because it's super affordable. You can afford like $3.99 brushes and it gives you like 40 brushes in a pack. And it's like different brushes. It's seams, you know, seams that go on jeans, seams that go on like wallets, sweaters. You can make sweatpants. It's all different types of brushes on there. And I like that it has such a diversity and people have made these brushes. It's really cut down my time for meshing because now that I'm learning more about ZBrush, I can go from, instead of going from ZBrush to Blender, I can just do ZBrush to Adobe Substance and bake it because I've learned how to unwrap it as well so I will be doing a video on that an updated video on how I mesh I also will be selling videos of how I mesh with my workflow just so you know if you guys are interested in starting I don't know a 3d business or just a 3d design for Second Life you guys can have some tips and some videos to help you along your process so yeah I'm gonna let you guys watch the rest um and that's it enjoy
Okay, last but not least, we have Blender. We are on Blender 3.3. I am updating it. As you can see, you can donate to Blender. It is a free software. So that's what I actually love about Blender. Out of all of the programs, you don't need a crack version or to pay for anything unless you want to support um, Blender or whatever. Also, they do have a Blender Market, which you would have to buy um, HDRIs, which are the lighting for you to render and everything or anything like that. But other than that, whatever you need to do, like basic animation, scripting, anything, it's in Blender, the program itself, which is pretty cool. Um, I was making a dress in this scene. I thought I would show you guys kind of how my workflow goes when I'm making a clothing. But if you guys are interested, honestly, I have a, a lot of videos on how I create clothing in Blender. Um, I have a few add-ons that are pretty helpful. And if you guys want to know about that, I will be putting those helpful hints in my discord which you can join in my description box but yeah blender is pretty good you can bake in here you can create your base meshes you can import those base meshes into zbrush which is what i used to do um, it was still helpful because it doesn't mess up the topology um, blender they have an add-on where you can you know do really good topology because it's important when you have a second life mesh that you invest in having good topology and when I say invest I mean taking the time out of your day and making sure the topology is good because that'll make your second life mesh <laughs> even better um, but yeah if you guys want more tips on that um, just let me know in the comment section comment section and I can do more tips on how to import into SL and different things like that but yeah Blender is pretty self-explanatory um, it's a free program it's probably the easiest one to start if you're starting a 3d journey honestly it took me about a couple months to understand really Blender in itself so I would suggest starting off with Blender but Thank you guys so much for watching this video and seeing what I use for my workflow. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Bye. Make me think about someone new You know I got so much to say I try to hide it in my face And it don't work You see through That I just wanna kill it You right, I got my guy But I, I can't help it I want you Say you right